What's going on guys? So I am back with some Diamond Dynasty. Sorry for the wait, all my big Diamond Dynasty fans. I know I've been getting lots of comments saying you want more Diamond Dynasty. I'm sorry I didn't bring it, but here we go. Hopefully this makes up for it. I got a crazy game. You're going to want to stay to the end of this. So right off the bat, I get a hit with Brett Barrett. So we get on base, we end up stealing second, and then D Gordon gets really clutch and hits us home. Anthony Rizzo strikes out, unfortunately. But then Prince Fielder, wow, like that was the best contact I've probably made in all this MLB The Show. See, like that was perfect. Prince Fielder crushes it, he plays it terribly. And Prince decides to round second. He's got some speed, the big man can run. The big man gets into third for the triple. Ted Williams is up next. Ted Williams has, is like, I, Prince Fielder hit a triple. I gotta hit a triple, he crushes it deep. Hits it off the top or the bottom of the wall in center. He's rounding second as well. He gets out there with a sliding triple. I was going to say stand-up triple, but he is not a stand-up triple. That is my bad. And then, <laughs> uh, Chalk Peterson. Oh my, I just totally, I just got stumped. Jock Peterson grounds out. And then McCutcheon gets a little bit under it, hits it to center field. But that will end, nope. That will end the inning. Yes, my bad. Uh, so we got Jose Fernandez on the mound. He hits the first bound of the game. That is never a good time. I'm surprised he didn't get pulled for that. And then his guy hammers off the wall. So I'm like, this guy can play. Like, I think this guy's got some skill too. Uh, it's going to be a close game. It's not just going to be a blowout. Usually when I score that many runs in the first inning, I'm like, this guy has no idea what he's doing. But this guy, you could tell he knew what he was doing. He hits another one with McCutcheon. That scores a run and gets another guy to third. And so he's got runners on first and third now, which is not really a situation I want to be in, especially after a, the next pitch is a pass ball where his runner is able to score, which is incredibly frustrating. Uh, so now Bryce Harper is up. I try and paint the right corner of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper just hits a little tapper in front of the mound. I turn around, throw it to first to end the inning. And that was all until about the... Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> and then... That was all for the inning, just wait. I decide to screw up on a ball in the dirt, but thankfully the inning finally ends. So here, that, that was it for the first couple innings. I'm gonna skip forward to the, the fifth, where George Brett takes a walk, and then Brett Bear comes up and hits a home run. Uh, Cause nothing really happened in the, the four innings after that. It was pretty pretty quiet. I, I am now up 6-3. Uh, the reason why Anthony Rizzo and Prince Field are in this game is just cause I was really sick of playing uh, with all the guys that I had, I was just genuinely just sick of it. I couldn't, I, I was done with uh, Goldschmidt, I was done with Cabrera, I just wanted something new. I was getting incredibly bored of playing with those guys, and quite frankly, I was not doing that good with those. It's not their fault, it's totally my fault. It was, just a, it was in my head, I couldn't hit with them, and I was just getting incredibly frustrated, so I decided to switch everything up, get Rizzo in here, get some powerful lefties in the lineup uh, to help me out. So here, Ted Williams gets a nice hit, starts off the inning, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I um, I needed to switch things up. Diamond Dynasty is getting a little bit dull. As much as you guys think it's that super fun to have an amazing team, it's really not that fun. Uh, I like opening packs. It's kind of packs are probably my favorite thing, but it's kind of fun to sometimes just go back and play with the guys you started off playing. Like some of my favorite players, because I'm not, I'm definitely not a Miguel Cabrera fan or a Mike Trout fan. They're just the best players, and I'd rather play with guys that I actually really like. And I think you guys should play. That. That's why I got. Jose Reyes in there instead of Tulewitzki because I'm a Blue Jays fan, right? So it just kind of makes sense. Uh, so here I'll get back to the gameplay. We pinch hit Miguel Cabrera though. Speaking of Cabrera, uh, with two guys on, we pinch hit him for the pitcher because I was not playing him. He gets super clutch. It's a nice two run double. And yeah, that was. Oh, and then Brett Bear comes up, hits it to the backhand of the shortstop. Brett Bear runs it out with his 188 speed, which I got on him. Just kidding. I don't, it's not that high. But then D Gordon strikes out, unfortunately. Uh, and then, but McCutcheon was just, I think that was McCutcheon, sorry if that's not McCutcheon, I'm pretty sure, but he was just hitting everything this game, he had an amazing game, Harper, but then Harper grounds out, D Gordon to Jose Reyes, back to Prince Fielder for the double play, huge double play, but then he hits a gap, unfortunately, I sprint over there with Mike Trout, but Ted Williams picks it up first, Williams guns it in, uh, but he still gets a double for the next guy up, oh, and the next guy up, Giancarlo Stanton hits it right up the middle. Mike Trout comes up swinging. He's right, not swinging. He comes up throwing. He guns it home, but not quite in time. They score the run to make this a 6-4 ball game with Miguel Cabrera coming up. This I thought this was going to be the tie of the game. I thought that was gone. But Ted Williams makes the most beautiful catch right on the outside. Wow, Ted Williams just impressed me like crazy here. Then Anthony Rizzo comes up for me and hits a pretty lazy fly ball to the left. Unfortunately, but then Prince Fielder strikes. Oh, come on, Prince. You can do better than that. But Ted Williams, Mr. Clutch, 
the best hitter who ever, I don't know if he's the best hitter who ever lived, one of the best, hits a home run right off that side, and then Mike Tro comes up, gets great contact on the ball, hits it to the gap for a ground rule double for McCutcheon, but McCutcheon, the Pop-Tart. I thought Troy Tulewitzki was the Pop-Tart on this team, but apparently it's McCutcheon. Uh, he goes out, so that is the end of the inning. For Mike Schmidt, Mike Schmidt hits a low curveball, and Mike Schmidt takes advantage of it. Usually Mike Schmidt never makes contact. I was just surprised that guy made contact. And then another cho short little chopper. I make a nice play on the ball, throw it to Prince Fielder for the out. And then Bryce Harper crushes it. Like, crushed it. I'm pretty sure that was Bryce Harper. Sorry if it's not. I might have just messed that up. And then McCutcheon. Strikes out. Oh, that might not have been Bryce Harper considering Bryce Harper. I don't know who hit that home run. Somebody hit that home run. It might have been his creative player. I have no idea. Uh, then Bryce Harper comes up, gets a hit. I'm throwing it home. Not in time. Uh, so this game is getting a lot closer really fast. Jose Reyes steals on his backhand. Throws to first. Not in time again. So the score is now 9-7. And then John Carlos Stanton, the guy who I've sold like a thousand times, hammers it off the wall. like, And that scores two runs. I thought maybe I could get him. But then I changed my mind when he turned around, and we don't get him at third, unfortunately. So it is 9-8 now for Miguel Cabrera, who goes opposite field down the line. I play it terribly. It doesn't matter, though. Those runs score either way. And now I am down in this game. That just proves how fast things can happen. It's 10-9, and then the next pitch. Mike Schmidt crushes a home run. How heartbreaking is this? It is now 9-12. In the bottom of the second, we next finally we get a strikeout, which we desperately need. We throw it on to first, and now we're going to the bottom of the ninth because I need to get clutch. D Gordon goes. D Gordon hits a fly ball to left, which had lots of promise, just nothing really came of it. Anthony Rizzo goes up the middle. Not quite enough though. Uh, well, not quite enough for him. We get on first base. Prince Fielder comes up, gets another. So I'm stringing some things together for Ted Williams, who's got to get clutch. He's got to hit a home run. He's been so good all game, and I take a pitch that I regret taking so much. Mike Tro comes up, hits the ball the second for the ground note, and that is it for the video, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, get like a lot of likes on this video. Let's go, let's say 75, and I'll post another Diamond Dynasty video tomorrow. Get the likes go flowing on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you guys very, very much for watching.